Ryan, thanks very much for talking to us ahead of the Paralympic Games, your debut Paralympic Games. How have your final preparations been going? Very good, to be honest. I think um, the first point I'd like to mention is just a big thanks to Crown Pools. Uh, they've managed to give me a free fast lane over the last few weeks, which is obviously um, for me has been a great help. I'm able to write my own sessions uh, because I coach myself. It's been really successful to be able to plan and know that you're going to get that exact session. Um, so the, the preparations feel really good. And in terms of what you've been doing, have you been ramping the training up or is it a bit of a taper for you so that you know you're going to be in peak physical condition? Yeah, that's right. It will be a taper from now on. Um, however, after trials, after qualifying, I've managed to um, up my metres, ramp the metres up. Um, so it's been very hard. Uh, I, I don't want to go into Rio and settle for what I can already do. I want to try and risk it and push on. So take a gamble and, and hopefully the taper will make it all pay off. Has much of your preparation consisted of any competition at all or has it all been putting the metres in in the pool? Not, not just the metres, no, it has been competitions. Uh, since uh, Glasgow where I qualified, I've been to Newmarket, uh, which is quite a nice local competition. been up to Sheffield as well. I put some big swims in up Sheffield. And then I was in Manchester last week with most of the, the British Power swim team. And we done a stand-up event for a day, so we do heats and finals. So it's like simulation for Rio itself. So there's been quite a bit of racing. And obviously with Rio, as you say, you get the heats and the finals. How much practice have you had at events that emulate a swim in the morning followed by a swim later on the same day? Yeah, that, that's right. It's a, definitely a big part and that's what we've done up Sheffield. I was fortunate enough to, to make the final in, in both 103 and 53. Uh, but moved the finals both on from the heat swims. And then last week we've done heats and finals as well. Tomorrow you're travelling to your holding camp in London. How long do you spend there and when do you fly out to Brazil? Uh, so tomorrow's Saturday, we fly on Thursday to Brazil. So we've got you know four or five days of training and get some good quality training in at the Olympic pool, or the former Olympic pool. And uh, we also have some media training and team meetings to, to get us prepped for Rio itself. So there's a nice mix of stuff in the pool and other things as well. Do you get to socialise with your teammates as well? Yeah, that's right. So there's a team of 31 of us from the, the swimming side, plus staff as well. So we all get on really well. There's rivals within within the camp. Um, I'm, I'm one of five of my category, uh, but we all get on really well. There's no hard feelings. So. When you're out there, you're going to be competing in the 100 metres freestyle and the 50 metres freestyle for definite, possibly the 4x100 freestyle relay as well. Which one of those individual events do you think you're going to be most successful in? I think it's hard to say because you, you don't want to kind of knock yourself down, but I think if I did make a final out of the two, I think the 50 is the, the bigger chance for me. I think both swims to make the final, on the 100 and the 50, they're going to take real big swims from me. I need to move on and actually hit personal best times. Uh, but like you say, the relay as well, I, I need a good 100 individual swim to, to be able to qualify for the relay team.